Okay, so today myself and Phil Lowry are uh, testing out the, the uh, DD hammock that the DD hammocks have kindly supplied us to test out and do a review for our bushcraft camps. Things we've noticed on it, fantastic, plenty of room inside. There are some little uh, ties on the fasteners on the side here that we can, you know, if you were in near some trees, you could actually tie them out tight which will give you a lot of stability and also it opens it up to make it a bit comfier so we're going to re-rig it at some point and, and have a look at that um, other things that we think could just do with these um, elastic bits here to keep your midge mozzinet up could do with these we just tied them off at the oh, ends good. Good idea, yeah we've tied them off there but you can see if you put um, that just comes as one complete piece of uh, rubber if you actually had that as one bit tied up but also had some little carabiners on there some some really small silver lightweight crabs on it you could just clip it in really fast we've tied it on there so that makes it a little bit faffy but the, in generally it's it's one of them that you can do a lot with you get it set up yourself um, again down here we've just tied it off here with um with a bore line you get a lot of friction on here. That's a Lorimer's hitch, so it's all quick release. But you will get it burning through. You can see it's just starting to burn the rope there. So what we we tend to do with these is put something on, like we've got around this tree here, which is um, just a piece out of a chain. So it's a link out of a chain. You, you fast tie that in to it, and then you can put your rope through there for tensioning so it's against the metal and not against the rope so you're not going to get burning. In general though there are so many guying out points on this tarp and this hammock there's all sorts you can do with it it's bob on you can see Phil's in there and he's nice and comfy. Um, plenty of space under if anything I would say yeah there's, it could do it a tiny bit longer I think on the on the on the tarp um, but Widthwise, it's absolutely bob on, goes down really low. Um, we've we're just letting the stretch out of these at the minute, these ropes, so it will tighten up a lot more. Of this once the stretch is out of out of these ropes here, and we can get it reset again. But this is just us setting it up very quickly with just the four guys that come with the tarp itself. Um, Obviously, we're going to get some more and guide out. There's so many points on here. You can do so much with this this tarp. It's bob on. So, there's the logo there for DD Hammocks. Just run along the bottom here, show you how many guiding off points there are on it. They're all over. It's fantastic. Inside this as well, you have this uh, kind of a thicker rubberized material, which should hopefully... Um, hold very well but what we're going to do we're going to get this out try it out quite a bit and uh, see how that goes so you can come back and check out again in a few weeks you can see it's a good comfy setup that Phil's in there now on his iPhone what are you doing there Phil? yeah he's updating his Facebook from his hammock oh one other bit so with the hammock as well you've got a zip there and you can come in and see Phil all right, Phil. All right. All right, so it zips up so you can get into your mozzie net. It's also got this bit underneath so you can actually use it without the tarp itself, um, which is handy. You can slip your mat in. You can slip your mat in there as well. You can use it upside down and use that as so you're just kipping in the trees um, without your tarp. So that's another thing we'll try out. Overall, spot on setup for uh, a very, very reasonable hammock and tarp so thank you for watching goodbye phil <laughs>